What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Backyard Fireworks. Hope everybody's having a great and wonderful day. And we're going to be lighting fireworks in the morning. It is about 9.42. We're going to be lighting all of these fireworks off today. We got some salutes. We got some rockets. We also got some daytime uh, fireworks here. And of course we're at the property. So it is a great day. You can probably hear the cicadas in the background. They are everywhere where I am at. But we're also going to light some awesome... Let's look at these. We got some firecrackers and there's a lot of mud over there too so we're gonna light some of those in the mud and we're just having a great time out here today all right we're gonna start things off with one of my favorite fireworks to light we got a let's see a silver tail uh, bottle rocket but i love lighting these bottle rockets they're my favorite thing to light on the fourth especially before all the big show you know at the end of the day it's just so much fun to light these off it gets me so excited for the rest of the night <laughs> oh, a little late bloomer there. <laughs> I don't even know if I got that on camera. It was kind of funny. Those bottle rockets started dive bombing down and then they went off. But here go two more. This is my rocket launch pad, by the way. I uh, used it in a previous video, but if you haven't seen it, this is, looks pretty cool. My buddy made it for me. It's been uh, working out so far so good. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I think we had a dud there just immediately popped. That was kind of funny. I'm going to light one more bottle rocket. Oh, yeah, that's a good one there. Went perfectly straight up that time. Okay, so I think the next one I want to light is these uh, daytime roaming candles. And I think these should produce colors, if I'm not mistaken. I do think some of them produce parachutes, but I'm not going to stop lighting one until I get the color, if they're not colors. But yeah, we're going to light some of these off. These are really pretty when they uh, have color to them. All right, here we go with the first one. A fast fuse. Oh, I think it's the pair. Oh, there's the color. <laughs> this didn't go up. Uh, purple. Okay, that's interesting. There's a smoke over there. I think that one was kind of a dud. We definitely got to light another one of those. I'm not entirely sure why that did that. It looked like it was a mix between parachutes and colors. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to do that. But we're going to light another one just to confirm. There it goes. Okay, now see, that's the parachute. <laughs> I would try to catch one, but it's so bright, it's hard to see. Well, there that goes that one. <laughs> I can't even see him because it's so darn bright. That is so funny though. Oh, I'm gonna be able to catch this one. Here it comes. Oh, it didn't release. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. The darn thing did not go off. I'm gonna try to find it though. It's somewhere in here i don't even see it it just got immediately soaked up by the grass <laughs> i'm still not satisfied i want to see one with some color now i know some of these can produce color kind of like the first one but this i hope is better let's see what we got here there we go that's what i was looking for perfect now that's what i like these are beautiful Perfect, I love those colors. Now, see, I wish they were all like that. Those colors are so much better than those parachutes. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, guys, I do love parachutes. They are some of my favorite things in the world. But the only thing is, whenever the parachutes come out of these tubes, they don't really come out of the pop. Like, whenever it pops in the air, it doesn't come out. I don't know why. But uh, we're gonna light another Roman candle here. I think this one's got crackle. Oh, actually, this might be strobe. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, okay, yeah. That sounds so cool even in the daytime. That's awesome. It's still so pretty. Wow. I do love Roman candles. <laughs> I like to call this box the firework box. It has just a little bit of everything that everyone might like. Got firecrackers, we got a whole arrangement of salutes. Heck, I think we got some 200 and 500 gram cakes at the bottom with even some don't panic shells. 
then we got some awesome Roman candles here. I think we're going to switch to one of these bad boys to see what this does. And we're going to do some uh, firecrackers and then even some more, I don't know, shells and then some uh, salutes at the end. All right, this Roman candle here, I'd be lying if I was saying it was prettier in the daytime, but they are still fun to light in the daytime, especially for the affordability. But we're going to light this one right here. Again, if you didn't see it previously, top dog candle. I think this one's gonna actually have some breaks, which might look cool in the daytime as well. There it goes. Oh yeah. Those are good candles. I might instantly regret this, but I had to do it. When I see standing water like this, I got to light some firecrackers. Here we go. Some firecrackers and some mud water. Oh, that was hilarious. It was almost like it created a fountain effect with all the water coming out. That was hilarious. Look at the water now. It's all mud stained and stained with smoke. All right, I definitely have to light another one. That was too funny not to do it. But try to look, whenever I light this one, if you guys could look like outside of the actual explosion and see the water just popping up. It is so funny looking. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> that is too good. Look at the smoke. The wind's blowing it a little way, but <laughs> check it out on the ground level. All the bubbles popping up and the smoke still coming off the fireworks. That is so good. Okay, I think I just have to light another Roman candle off. There's so much fun. There's nothing better than lighting off a Roman candle in the daytime that's affordable and still has pretty smoke effects. Because when it goes in the sky, you can still see the entire effect of the break. And it still honestly seems really cool and loud, which is what I like doing in the daytime like this. Just gets me pumped up for the evening fireworks. But yeah, here we go. There's the fuse there. I'll light that up. And yeah, we definitely got to end the show with a nice salute at the end too. Oh, I did not know this was a crackle. That's awesome. For some reason, I forgot that I didn't light one of those. I didn't remember that it had the crackle. All right, I am definitely lighting another one of those. I forgot I didn't light a crackling one. But look at all these silver Roman candles we got. This is so funny. All right, let's light another crackle. There it goes. Man, those go way up there. Those are good candles. All right, to end things off, you guys know this is a nice salute called Double, double Threat, and it is a double breaking salute. But uh, yeah, that should be a pretty good one. This one of those salutes you actually don't hear too much about. Uh, I feel like it's not as popular as like the red and greens and the clown shells, but these are still really good. Oh, that is awesome. Look at the smoke going in. That's so funny. You guys made it to the end of the video. I just want to say thanks again for watching. These Roman candles were a lot of fun. And yeah, guys, I just want to say thank you. And uh, yeah, guys, there's going to be tons of more videos coming this way. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you get notified when I post all sorts of firework videos and especially budget shopping trips. Those are my favorite. A ton of those coming your way soon. And yeah, guys, stay safe out there and everybody have a great, wonderful day. Peace.